Where? You like him myself like that? Oh, really? No, poor, no, bring on. No, like my one. And that is Kamu Melody. That is Kasu Bellare. Welcome to Gigi Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to make mine and many other Greek Cypriots favourite thing to eat, souvlaki. There is nothing better than the taste of smoky succulent pork pieces, heated onions, cooling cucumber, sweet tomatoes and fresh crisp cabbage all snuggled inside a warm toasty bitter and finished off with a sprinkling of parsley. This is the best thing we ever invented. So let's get started. Let's start with our meat. I'm using pork shoulder. It's a little bit cheaper than tenderloin and it's also a little bit more fatty but we prefer to have the fattiness there because it has a little bit more flavour. My pork's already been cut into cubes so now I'm going to make my delicious marinade. It's really really simple. Add your olive oil, lemon juice, grate some garlic, salt, pepper, and a generous amount of dried oregano and now massage everything into your meat. The lemon juice will tenderise the meat making it lovely and soft and your pork will end up changing colour and looking a little bit more white. The key ingredient to the perfect souvlaki is the oregano, that's what gives it its distinctive Greek flavour. This smells so nice, I can't wait to eat it. But we've got to leave it to marinade for at least an hour for all the flavour to penetrate into our meat. My meat has been marinating for about two hours now, so now I'm going to add them to my skewers. I like to leave my meat to marinate at room temperature before I put it on the barbecue because I don't want the difference in temperature to be such a shock to my meat that makes it tighten up and give me a dry souvlaki. But if you marinate your meat the night before, that's fantastic because you're going to have jam-packed, flavourful souvlaki. All you've got to do is take it out a few hours before you're going to cook it and leave it to come to room temperature and you're going to have delicious succulent sauce of Lego. Alright, my coals are nice and hot, so I'm going to start putting my meat on. Because our barbecue is really small, our coals don't heat up that quick, so we turn our souvlaki out every few minutes. Whereas if your barbecue is bigger, your coals are going to be hotter, so you should turn them a little bit more frequently, just so that they cook evenly throughout and don't burn on one side. Can you hear that sizzle? Now that's what I'm talking about. This smells so nice. As my coals are starting to get hotter, I've got to start turning my meat more frequently. Maybe around every minute, just so it doesn't burn. When your meat looks and smells like this, mmm, it smells so nice. Put them in a tray and cover them with some foil and then cook your bitters. Heat your bitters for about a minute, turn in halfway through and put them in a clean towel to stay warm and let's go fill them. Your choice of bitter is just as important as your marinade. I've got a Greek Cypriot bitter here and also a standard supermarket one. As you can see, my Greek Cypriot one is much bigger and thinner than the supermarket one. Trust me, you don't want a bready thick bitter. I know, I love souvlaki and the best bitter is your thin Greek Cypriot one. If you've got a thick bready one, it will take away from the meat and give you a chewy texture. Whereas if it's thin, it will let the pork be the hero and absorb all the flavours and it won't taste like bread at all. It will unite as one and be souvlaki, not bitter and souvlaki. 
I prepared my salad. I've got red onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, cabbage and parsley. Cut open your bitter. It's hot. Now that's what I call a bitter pocket. Take your meat off. Right, now get your meat. Oh my days. So tasty. Fill up your bitter with your lovely juicy meat. And add your onions, some cabbage, some cucumbers, tomatoes, a little sprinkling of parsley. But all that's left is a lovely generous squeeze of some lemon. And then dig in. This is so tasty and I guarantee you it'll be the best meal you ever make. If you've ever been to Cyprus and had Sobleka by the beach, it will take you right back there. And if you haven't been to Cyprus and you do make this, it will give you a taste of what it's like to be there and you'll want to go. Trust me, so tasty. This is so tasty. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share. And if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos, please subscribe below. So until next time, bye.